What's up, Loop Clan? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to class. Today, we're defending Barbecue Kitchen on Skyscraper. This can help you get that third win on defending. You already got Tegan off his lockdown. You need that third win just to make your life easy. We'll say no more. I created a strat that will help you secure that third round and the victory. We're going to start things off with Mira. She's going to swing around into kitchen and get that left reinforcement on the connector walls. It's also where her first mirror is going to go, so you can slap that on there. Then she can head over into pantry and reinforce the left wall by the door. The second mirror is going to go right here on the pantry wall. And now, when you put this on, I would like to put it as straight as you can. Now, if you want to put it to the right, it'll give you a little bit more cover. If you put it to the left, it'll give you a little more sight on the reception area. But I like to just put it in the middle, just give me a good balanced view on each side. And now when you shoot this out, I'm going to show you guys how I like to do it. Now I'm going to put my names of my loop clan members who I would suggest to play Mira. Now if you watch this on YouTube and you're not a part of my clan, don't worry about that. But you should be worried about my PS4 gamer tag in the bottom right. Go ahead and add me. We can run some strats together, play it together, whatever. But back to topic. Mirror's just going to be watching this. Because I like to shoot it out so I can jump up and quiver. Expect that shit. Uh, the only thing you need to be worried about is up here. But Castle and Diego will be up there. And they'll be able to tell you if anyone's coming. Also, there'll be barbed wire. Now you can come from the side. For the top, just any angle you want, just obliterate anyone trying to push in the restaurant. This is really a nasty spot where it's gonna be playing. Um, you're gonna get a lot of kills, you're gonna be a goddamn badass. Now, that wall will also be opened up. Let me go ahead and open up for you guys. You can even see into the bathroom window from here. Anyone tries to push that. Just overall a nasty spot. Mia also has a very important job to do. I almost forget. Don't forget like me. After you get done doing that, you're gonna wanna hurry up and shoot out these walls. Now Mia will get the other walls, so I'm just gonna show you the, the walls that Mia needs to get. Now this is what it looks like after you get done. Just like that. With the walls. And she's gonna come back in and play this. Now she has one more thing to do, and that's just to shoot out a small rotation. You want to stay to the left when you come in this rotation just for that window, which is going to be castled off and muted. But this is all Mir is going to do is just playing in here. That's it for Mir. Let's go ahead and move on to Castle. Next up, we have Castle. He's going to want to go ahead and run into the pantry. And that's where his two reinforcements are going to go on the north walls. Now after he gets those, he's going to want to actually come over here and do this window first. He's going to come back and get these two doorways. And he's gonna actually throw his impact right there, and then throw another one right there. And that's just to save um, Mira and mute some time. And then you're actually gonna come into the drum room. This we're gonna play. Barricade up those doors if you want to. There's actually, you don't have to barricade. You don't have to barricade this one up. There's gonna be barbed wire there. It's just it just depends on how you like to do it. Cause if you get a barbed wire, you can you know go ahead and get ready for that and get a kill right there. You can keep it closed, up to you. But you're mainly gonna want to focus on reception, and I'll show you why. We're gonna focus on reception right now. We're actually, get a nasty angle on bandit from the shotgun holes that we made. Who's gonna be playing behind that mirror? Which is why we need you up here, guarded reception. And also, I would also barricade that if you have the time to do it, which you should. Another reason why Castle should be upstairs and drum is because the Jaeger's gonna be holding the hatch, and you can also assist him if he's getting too much pressure. People are pushing him, you can come out here and help him. You, know, you don't have to run the shotgun, I was just using it to open up walls. But if you do, you can shoot out um, to the left of this drum. And you can get a good uh, hold on this doorway behind the bar. If anyone tries to push that, if they get underneath you somehow, or you can just shoot out the hole with your your M45. It doesn't really matter. 
There's also another one over here. I, I, I highly recommend shooting this one as well. Just get your uh, get your good sight on the other door. Just gonna be up here playing, watching reception, aiding Jaeger, and if they get those castle doors, you're gonna be watching those as well. And that's it for castle. Mute's up next. He's gonna go. I also went ahead into pantry. He's gonna get the remaining two walls and pantry. After that, he's gonna put down all his jammers. First one goes here. The next one goes on the walls castle did. Ten seconds to insertion. And then the last two go behind Five the other castle there. And then at the castle off window. And now Mute's gonna come around and help open up walls. He's gonna open up those two walls. If Castle forgets, he's gonna also shoot himself. And then shoot himself. Now, I would definitely recommend running a shotgun mute, obviously. Um, one last thing you can uh, shoot out is right here. And that's just to help out with upstairs if someone tries to push in the tea room. You can, you can get them. What you're gonna do is mute is help out in the restaurant, get anyone coming into the bathroom, uh, help upstairs, watch reception, watch these um, back stairs, and also uh, kill anyone that tries to jump in as well. Now uh, you can hit some holes out um, if you would like to. Get you some angles. Get an angle on the window, you can get an angle over by reception bar. You can watch the stairs. We need you to just anchor in the restaurant and just try to see where they're coming from and pick some people off. That's all you're gonna be doing is mute. Bandit's gonna wanna start off by reinforcing the east side kitchen wall. Single one. Reinforce the east side single. When you're putting that battery on, put it as far left as you can. And then we can You can spawn peek if you want. Uh, I would have Jaeger do it, but if it's only if you're confident in it, I I wouldn't recommend it. It's only if you know that you can get a kill and not die. If you're that good at it, that you you're confident in your abilities, but I would have Bandit waiting to reinforce that. Now, real quick, when you put on these bandits, you want to put this one uh, not all the way to the right, but kind of to the right. That way you can put the one on this mirror as far left as you can. And then save the last one to Bennett trick this wall. Now Bennett's gonna be playing this mirror watching the windows. And also seeing to the bathroom. Now the things you want to watch out for playing this is that window. If it gets blown open by ash or someone just hitting it. Uh let you can know you'll have a little hole you can watch. Another thing, if you hear Castle say someone's pushing reception, you're going to be careful about that because they can get a nasty angle on you, so you want to hide behind that mirror, behind that reinforcement as best as you can until we get rid of that problem. Uh, also, you really want to look out for this. You don't want this, you don't want them to get this. But if they do, Jaeger will also have a little hole you can watch. You always have to fall back somewhere in pantry or wherever you see fit. Now that will be opened up a little bit more better by a castle so you can watch that window. But this is all Ben is going to be doing is just playing right here. Place to throw your C4. Now I can't do that with the ammo I had but definitely want to do that as well. Have mirror or, some, or mute do that for you. It's pretty much it. For Bandit, let's go ahead and move on to Jaeger. Last up is Jaeger, and he's gonna wanna go ahead and start off by throwing his ADS down. One goes right pantry on a shelf. The second one goes right back here in kitchen behind the mirror. And then he's gonna wanna go ahead and run upstairs where he'll be playing. Put that first barbed wire drum doorway, and then put the last one at geisha doorway. He's going to want to reinforce the hatch. He 
gonna reinforce Geisha Wall. And now you can shoot out whatever holes you think will help you the best. Now obviously you won't have a shotgun, but you can also do this with your AR. Now, I don't really care what holes you shoot out in Geisha Room, but the ones that I really want to see you do, I know it's going to be hard with your AR, but you can still do it. Gonna be right here, most definitely right here. Watching this behind the mirror, watching the soft wall, at least outside. And then definitely this one watching outside. You need to shoot it here, right in front of this little stool. We'll come back a little bit at the edge of this carpet. Whatever you think uh, would be better for you. I'll shoot out those. Last ADS, I almost forgot, it goes right here to protect you. But yeah, Jaeger's just going to be playing in Geisha, making sure no one pushes upstairs. Now, you can barricade some of these doors if you want to, just to give you a little bit more um, protection and they can notify you if anyone's pushing. Yeah, just shoot out whatever you want, whatever you think is going to help you best. And really need you to come in clutch. I think it's very important. We need to have one of our best players up here. With someone we know that can stay alive and play smart. If things start to fall apart downstairs, we need you to go wherever you need to be and make it happen. Make that win happen. Yeah, he's going to be our ace. So all we need from you is clutchness and the protect upstairs. So let's go ahead and get a dub with this strap. Thank you guys for watching. Join us again next class. Don't be late.